right, welcome to Christ Center Gamers unboxing of Neat's latest product, the Bumblebee 2 microphone, USB microphone. I'm actually pretty excited about this because I've had the opportunity to review quite a few microphones lately from Turtle Beach and their subsidiaries like Rock Hat, like this microphone I'm using right now to record this video. I really like this a lot and I'm excited to see if this one is even better or the same. I guess we'll find out. So here we go. So let us first take off the plastic. This box is bigger. I'll tell you that right now. So what is inside is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's see what you guys see here. First, let's start with the label Bumblebee 2. We actually have hoping to hope to have bumblebees next year. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, all right, professional cardioid USB condenser microphone. Pretty cool. Uh, streaming, vocals, podcasts, and gaming by Neat Microphones. I'll give you a good view of the front of the box there. All right. And then let's go to the side of the box. Yellow. Bumblebee Professional Cardioid USB Consider Microphone. It is the same, just different picture. And then we've got two sides with info on them. So I guess we'll start with the black side with info on it. We've got... Professional Cardio USB Condenser Microphone. Bumblebee 2 is a versatile and easy to use USB condenser microphone that offers professional quality 24 bit 96 kilohertz digital audio output. The ideal solution for voice conferencing, streamers, podcasters, gamers, and musicians is internally shock mounted medium sized 25 millimeter condenser capsule. Makes it an excellent personal mic for any device with a USB audio port. Zero latency headphone monitor with volume control, mic gain control and mix control for monitoring the source and playback. Yoke mounted desk stand allows for standing and stability on any surface, can also be easily removed from mic stand for boom mounting. USB type C to type A cables included. Catch a bumblebee tune and let your recordings take flight. Ideal for content creators, streamers, podcasters, gamers, vocalists, musicians, voice conferencing, and voiceover artists. That's a pretty high uh, bar they're setting, so, you know, for all those things, especially voiceover artists and musicians. That's pretty great. So pretty cool. Um, internally shock mounted. 96K audio is great. Mac or PC, cool. It'll probably work in Linux as well. Probably, most likely. Uh, this this torch does. So um, let's see. Zero latency headphone monitoring with volume control, mix control, and the stand. And let's see what this side says. This side is actually other languages. So you can look at it, but nothing for me to see here. I only speak one language. So, all right, here we go. And, oh, the bottom, can't forget the bottom, right? And here we've got neatmic.com. We've got 2021 Voyager Turtle Beach Inc. Neat, neat microphones and neat bubble bee are registered trademarks of Voyager Turtle Beach. Two year warranty. Designed in the USA, made in China. Okay. I suppose that's the end of that then. So let us go ahead and open this guy up. Flap. Top. Let's see, white flaps again. And a box. Let us get this box out of here. I'm trying not to break it. There we are. White box. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but thank you, Neat, for Turtle Beach. Sending us this to review. They've been great to us this year. We've gotten so many things to review from them, including this microphone. And uh, it's been pretty cool checking out their products. And I always appreciate that. So here we go. All right. The real question for me is, is this mic going to replace this guy as my daily driver? Because I use this guy for work, for path, for streaming, all over the place. It's a great mic. It really is a great mic. So this is going to be the competition. All right, so here we go with the... Okay, uh, back to the unboxing. So here we are with the Bumblebee 2. Here's the manual. Okay, first, then you can see a USB cord right here. And we've got what I presume to be a mic stand mount right here, uh, a threaded mic stand mount. All right, so um, let's go ahead and look at the manual real quick. I'm going to put this down. All right, so we've got our quick start guide. 
And first page is, well, I'll show it to you guys. All right. Here it's talking about all the different options. We got Windows disconnected, go to settings, enable the default input device. Got the mute button, the microphone side, the multifunction control knob. Apparently it does different things. Um, different depending on the color of the ring around it. So it's got yellow for change listing level of headphones that are plugged into the jack on the bottom. Okay, and then we have uh, blue, which is the amount of signal that reaches your recording software. So that's probably the more useful one. Um, and green is mix balance in the in the return signal. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, it does not change the level of audio leaving the mic via the USB connector. Makes sense. And a mute button. Pretty cool. All right, so pretty much the basics, but the important stuff. Uh, and then there's some other languages. And then got a whole bunch of languages. And then technically speaking stuff. So specifications. So here's the microphone specifications on this page. Maximum SPL of 128 decibels is actually really good. Um... Dynamic range of 98 decibels is pretty good as well. So I'll show you that page for the Geek Speak stuff that I appreciate. And tips and tricks and placement. They say recommend that putting it between 6 inches and 18 inches away from your sound source, also known as your face. Um, all right, cool. And it shows different but options for how to use it, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, saxophones, uh, recommended distances for all these different things, including percussion as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, and various ways you can use the mount, how to take it off, as you can see there. And that's it. Uh, how to use it on a boom arm. Right, okay. Pretty cool. So let us put this aside. All right, and I have a cat who wants to find an interest in these things, which I don't really want her to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this cable. Let's see how, let's look at it, see how good it is. Uh, see if it's a nice looking cable. And we've got standard rubber cable, which is, if it does the job, that's all that matters, right? So it's got USB-C on one end and USB type A on the other. So pretty standard cable. Unremarkable, I guess you could say. All right, and let us get our microphone back. I think I'll go this side with it. And then we've got here, like I said, the threaded doodad there, technical term. I'll put this piece of styrofoam over here. And here is the mic itself. In a very big box for a decent sized mic. Okay. This has got a pretty hefty feel to it. I like that. I'll have to put it next to this guy and, well, I already can. See, it's a little bit chunkier, but not as, almost the same height, actually. Pretty close. Very interesting. Okay. And inside this box, we've got more stuff from that's it. So it's very well protected. There's a, a whole lot of air. And, all right, so there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out of the bag. And here it is, came right off. With some gel for you to eat. And here is the neat logo on the back. And on the front, you've got your ring with instructions on what they do and how to use it. So we'll go over that in just a moment. Okay, put that down. So, and we've got a stand. It feels like it's metal. Um, it has some nice soft padding on the bottom, nice ring around it, so it shouldn't clang on your table too bad. Uh, so this says here, push button to change modes. Yellow is headphone volume, green is output level, and blue is mix balance. So there you go, it was hanging over here, now it fell off. So this is the guy up front. There you go, microphone. Looks pretty neat. I don't see what I did there. All right, on the bottom, we can swivel this back, which is pretty nice. It's got a very solid motion to it. Uh, and it has a USB type C port and a headphone jack right there, if you can see that, hopefully. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, honestly. 
Uh, this comes off, if I remember right. Oh, you twist it this way. There it is. So if you want to take this off and use it on, on a boom arm, of course my dog has to have something to say about something outside. Um, let's see here. So we just go ahead and unscrew this. And almost done here. It's a pretty substantial thread. All right, so we've got, okay. So we've got this threaded loop in the bottom, which I'm, I believe this is for. So this can go on a smaller mount. Um, you, can, you can adapt it down to a smaller mount, which is pretty nice. You got the inside of that little cap right there. So for now, I'm gonna put this back. It's got a little notch to see it, so it stays straight. So you only have one way incorrectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this guy back up. If I got my righty and tighties look correct, which it looks like I do. This is a very fine thread, but I think all microphones use that. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. So I'm not gonna interrupt this video by plugging it into the laptop that this video is plugged in to. I, I think that would be silly. It might disrupt the video and it might switch mics or something, I don't know. So maybe, you know what, that might be, might be a good idea. But for now, I'm just gonna plug it into this little guy right here, just so that you can see the lights light up and the modes and stuff like that. So let's see how this looks. First, I gotta undo the twisty tie. Twisty tie. And then plug this guy in here. So you can see what it looks like. All right. And I just wanna make sure that it shows up in Windows as well and stuff like that. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm just gonna presume, I think it makes sense to, actually, no, wait, it doesn't, does it? It would make sense, but that's not how it works. So I'm just going to go like this, plug it in like so, and look at that. We have yellow. It just says setting up a device, Bumblebee 2 microphone, and let me go to recording devices. Oh, it actually shows up as a speaker output device, which isn't surprising. Torch does the exact same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, Windows with pop-ups can mess you up. All right, so I'm gonna go up to go to sounds and then see which, how it shows up as a recording device. Yep, sure enough, there it is, Bumblebee. Uh, if I go to configure, it gives me, okay, that's that's the worthless Windows built-in thing. All right, if I go to properties, that's what I wanted. I just got listen and levels, microphone, it defaulted to 42 for some reason. If I turn this, does that change? This is changing system volume. Not really what I expected. Oh, oh, mute, turns on and off the red light. That's very nice. So I turn it, now it's blue. Now it's changing microphone volume in Windows. Very nice. So this is all the way up at 100. And then, okay, I have no indication of the volume level, which, okay, is what it is, I guess. Um, and we said earlier that blue was the one that mattered. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on blue most of the time. All right, and uh, I don't know which direction this is supposed to go. If it's supposed to sit like this, and you talk at it like this, or if it's supposed to point at you like this and talk at you like that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go to advanced, and you can see it's got 24-bit, oh, that's nice. Yep, it does indeed have its, goes down from 16-bit, 14, I'm sorry, 4410, 48K, 88, 200, which is useful, and 96K on 16-bit, and 24-bit is 44,100, 48,000 hertz, 88,000, you know, 88,200 hertz, and 96,000. So very nice. That this 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 style of microphone, or, or should I say that that those sample rates are very useful for recording, especially music. So very good. All right, um, it's definitely really overdriven as I'm talking. Just looking at the little meters, I I can't tell how it sounds. But, all right, so I turned it down a bit and it definitely didn't reach the top anymore as I spoke. So, and now I got to turn it down and it's barely gets to the middle. So it does make, it does work. Um, so pretty cool there. Uh, okay, so I guess the last thing to try to see if I can get OBS to use this mic while we're doing this.
I don't know how easy that's going to be. Um, I don't want to break anything. I don't have enough USB ports. I have to plug my mouse. And there it goes. All right, setting up the Bumblebee. Get it on blue. And I have to change the audio device. Just one second here. From the Torch microphone, which you can hear me on now, I'm going to switch over to the Bumblebee 2. And here we go. So that is me on the Bumblebee 2. I'm testing the music. Yep, I got quiet all right. And now it is working and I'm gonna turn it up. Up, 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 up. Yep, that's overdriven. And I'll turn it down a little bit and now it's not as loud. And uh, so we will get to see, I haven't actually heard it yet, so I don't know which one sounds better. This one or the previous favorite of mine, the Rockat Torch, which I'm using now. So pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and quick sample uh, audio test video. Take care and God bless you.